So it'll be two laps to go at the line for Todd Gilliland, looking for his first win here tonight in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, but he has three miles left to race as he crosses the line. Races back to turn one with a lead of 2.1 seconds over Justin Haley. And he is encountering the back of the field here in that lap traffic, but no pressure right now. Haley continues to try and pedal hard and close that gap, but Todd with a comfortable margin for now, and he can take his time through these lap trucks. He'll go right around the outside of the lap truck and go right back to the white line in turn four. But boy, he races up on the tailgate of another, but no problem. He gets right by Mike Harmon off of turn four. Gilliland taking no chances. He's still hard on the throttle, takes the white flag. Flag. One more lap for the 18-year-old Todd Gilliland. He's smoothly down into the first corner, right on that inside white line, smoothly through the apex, and now off the second corner. Haley has closed the gap further still. Gilliland may be slowing. Here comes Haley down the backstretch. Trouble for your leader now. Justin Haley getting by your leader. Todd Gilliland falling back as Justin Haley takes the lead in turn four. Off of turn number four, Justin Haley comes off the corner as the leader and takes the checkered flag. He'll win the Jags medals 350 and will punch his ticket to the Homestead Miami Speedway in the championship four in two weeks. Justin Haley wins here tonight in Texas as we go to pit road. Boy, they're jumping up and down with arms waving in the air. Crew chief Kevin Bellacourt is here. They thought that this was a foregone conclusion that they didn't have enough time. They sprung the life jumping up and down clapping after Haley gets the win. He won at Canada for open the playoffs. He wins here again at Texas. Justin Haley picks up the third win of his career. We'll speak with the top five finishers in a moment. It has been a wild finish at Texas Motor Speedway as we felt Todd Gillen had this one wrapped up. He is absolutely stunned. He can't believe it. We can't believe it. Running out of fuel pressure down the back straightaway and handing the win to a hard charging Justin Haley. John Hunter Nemechek, you, have you been in this position before, running out of fuel in the lead? I have. Actually, Chicago Land this year, we had that race locked up uh, in the NASCAR Camera World Truck Series. And um, Bristol had that race locked up. We dominated the whole race, um, ended up having a fuel pickup issue. Um, so I've been in that spot a couple times this year, and it's heartbreaking. Um, I know the emotions that he's going, Todd is going through right now. He's really mad. Um, he, he's not really going to know what to say. His emotions aren't there intact. I mean, he's one lap away from winning his first ever NASCAR King World Truck Series race, and the first one is definitely the hardest one to win. Let's go down to pit road and hear from some of the top finishers with Hannah Newhouse. All right, guys, we're down here waiting for Todd Gill, and obviously heartbreak. Todd. You are coming to the checkered flag, about to win the first race. What's the overall emotion? Disbelief. Just so disappointed. Our car was fast, and then I wrecked in qualifying, and then we made it fast again and put ourselves exactly in where we needed to be. So this sucks, but it's a team effort to get up there um, and team effort to lose this one. So um, we win and lose this team. There you guys go. A disappointed Todd Gilliland, who obviously has a bright future in this sport. 